All right, guys, Andrew here with Kabuki Strength. I got Brandon, and he's gonna help us model another great exercise to help with strongman events, the belt squat march. So Brandon's gonna set up on this. So this, this movement is, is really beneficial to deloading the spine while still training the movement quality of a movement event. So yoke walk is very demanding. You can't train that every week. So this allows you to deload the spine while hips, legs, joints, all those are still being hit with load. So he's gonna go ahead and start marching and we're gonna talk about some, so some common flaws. So he's gonna start the teeter here. So teetering is swaying back and forth. You see how he's kind of leaning the one leg, okay? And another one is like ballet toes or sprinting, where you're not really putting a lot of force into the pad. So ideally we, we want to have a rigid torso. So he's going to demonstrate proper form now. So rigid torso, full extension, really trying to drive hard. Good, so he's getting full extension of the leg. And he can speed up just a little bit. Obviously as the weight goes up, it'll be more challenging to get that position. All right, go ahead and rack it for a second. So. A good cue if they're teetering is to give them a weight to hold. So they're going to hold this weight with the idea of keeping it midline so we don't want to again sway the weight side to side. So I can give them a weight, pull the pin. So again he's trying to keep it midline. Rack it. Now since this is, a, this is a movement that we would use for say training the yoke walk, um, having a bar on the back and emulating what it would feel like to have a bar for yoke walk might be a good cue because it's going to feel like what a yoke is. So anyone that's done a yoke, you don't want to teeter again. So this is a good cue for Brandon. So Brandon's going to hold the PVC in a position and then he's going to execute the belt squat just as before. All right. Good. All right. So as far as how to utilize this in your training, um, you're obviously going to need to start off light if you've never done this movement and you're going to build up progressively each set. So, that, so some people like to use a target of time. Uh, a better way objectively of doing this is step count. So look back at a, at a video of any event that you're trying to improve. So if it's yoke walk for 50 feet and you take 40 steps in that run, 40 steps is like your goal. So work in that range of say 30 to 50 right around the 40 range and work up progressively into a hard set of that number of steps. Uh, the last set should not have form breakdown of teetering. Uh, you should make sure you're really trying to drive hard in the ground with the heel. Um, and then you can do light stuff for longer duration uh, as a full deload um, as this event starts to progress um, in intensity as well.